I mean, Lux. We got Lux right now, even though Mr. First Cat is saying Lux in the outfield. I do have some concerns about that. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But Lux, I mean, I mean, you could argue him a you know a top three MVP finalist for the first half of this team. For this team in the first half of the season, Lux has, has been. You know, he had a little bit of a down. He started slow. Started to feel good, and now he's just kind of taken off, you know. And, and kudos to him; he's he's putting in, he's putting his name in the hat wherever they need him. He'll try to play. He's not an outfielder; it's very admitted and it's very obvious. And you know, maybe don't throw I, yeah, him out there with Julio on the bump yeah, in a day game say, at Dodger I mean, Stadium. But he, but he's been a great sport in embracing that. Look, being best a number big nine league, hitter in baseball. Oh, without question. I mean, the numbers back that up. If you look at Batting average hitting 305. If you look at the fact that he kind of changed his approach, more of a gap to gap hitter than trying to go for the slug. And his bat to ball skills have been better. It's just mm-hmm. his approach at the plate has really just tried to minimize kind of the movement on that swing. I mean, he's just doing such a better job in the box. And he just looks like he's much more poised, much under control. He's seeing it so much better this year. Yeah. And he also, he doesn't let a bat at bat or a, a little mini slump really get to him mm-hmm. or a bad defensive play get to him like he did last year. And I think that last yesterday, I mean, you saw the first inning kind of made a bad read on that fly ball, kind of goes over his head. Kind of. And, yeah, I mean, I guess the son was a Cubs fan yesterday, (laughs) right? And then later in that inning, he takes a conservative approach on the line drive where they get the run. So you can tell he's in his head a little bit in the outfield. He he has the athleticism. There's no question about it. It's just the outfield instincts. And I think that it's a work in progress, and it's not going to really, I think, matter in the future because I don't think – in the following seasons, you'll see him in the outfield very much. I mean, they want to turn mm-hmm. him into a, a super utility Chris Taylor type They're player, gonna but that's not going to happen. First step in the outfield takes instinct. Yeah. That takes a long time to learn and teach. Route takes time to learn and teach. You can get better with the route. Um, the speed you can't teach, but that's already there. He has that intangible, but it's that first step that's going to be tough. And then it's just getting the stutter, st- the ball bouncing on you if you ever played in the outfield, but. Uh, I, I mean, would rather not see him uh, too much in left in an important game. <laughs> I haven't I haven't played a whole lot of outfield at Dodger Stadium, but I think 317 innings is is not a big sample size. Like I think of him as that wide that that raw wide receiver has yeah. all the athletic tools, but has no idea how to run a route. That is Gavin Lux right now in the outfield. Like it is there. I think he can be a super utility player, but I agree with you guys. That's not where he's going to be. Maybe even as soon as next year. Yeah. Like his future is as a middle infield middle guy. infielder. Absolutely, that's what he should. That's a great be. point. He's played that all of his life. He's a, he admits. Look, I'm not an outfielder. He and again, respect to him going out and giving what he can to this team and to Dave Roberts where he needs him when he needs him. But um, that's yeah. not where his strength is going to lie. He's. A second baseman. He's he's turned himself into a pretty decent second baseman. Could see some time, so a good amount of time at shortstop uh, in the not too distant future. But um, I also appreciate. I also I think he had a kind of a public misstep before the twenty twenty season. He kind of had like an awkward. It was before the second s- summer camp. He kind of had a weird quote about like, oh, I just you know wasn't in the right headspace or wasn't ready. Yeah, he has never, to my knowledge, you you go to the games, you're in the locker room, but I don't think I've ever seen a bad quote about Lux whining about being put in the outfield. Like yeah. it's all positive. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like his mental headspace where he is right now, it's an awesome thing to watch. And it's exactly why you don't write guys off as bus after 550 plate appearances, <laughs> Major League Baseball. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean to, to go back to your football analogy, it's that's why you only see. Deion Sanders once in a generation. And a lot of these Lux haters, they're backpedaling like Deion Sanders right now, trying to get you know into their DeLoreans and their Flux capacitor and delete all their Gavin Lux is a bust takes because he definitely, Lux has marked his spot with the Dodgers. And I do think he is a legitimate contingency plan to go yeah. play, to slot into that shortstop position if Trey Turner walks <clears> in. <throat> look, d- offensively, he's taking his walks. I mean, look, if you had to... If you had to do some power rankings right now of who you'd want at the plate in a clutch at bat, Gavin Lux is right up there. And I think it's a, he's in a great spot, yeah. too. If he was on another team, he wouldn't have the luxury, no pun intended on that one, I promise, to be batting in the nine, the nine hole like he is. Oh, yeah, but no. I think that being on this team, this collection of stars, has really helped him and kind of alleviated some of that pressure that he yeah. felt in previous seasons. But he was this, a top prospect for a reason. There's also the, the pressure of when the Dodgers have called, you know, prime blue chip type yep. prospects up they have they have not failed often over the last decade the last real failure and that just was a, a sign of the times jerry sands was never gonna be 
<laughs> he was not a top 100 MLB you, prospect. You cut me right to my core, Baxter. <laughs> I remember being excited about I remember, Jerry that was, the, that was the first prospect bust that broke my heart. That's how uh, sad we were at that time. But then you flash forward. We get to the point of it's Yasiel Puig who hit. It was Jock Peterson who hit. It was Cody Seager. Bellinger. It was Cody. It was Walker Bueller. Mm. They all hit. Bueller-ious. And then, I mean, the uh, what... Uh, the stuff that came, the 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 notes, the the what the hype that came with the Gavin Lux in, in nineteen, former top prospect, former top prospect. He was in the middle of a ridiculous run at Triple A. He yep. was killing the league, and then it didn't hit, and he had never failed in his life. Yeah, when you're an it athlete at that time, level, man. you're just not used to time. struggling. I mean, you said the last decade, which is totally valid, but you can go back 20, 30 years. I mean, the Dodgers are infamous for having these big rookie cops. We're talking about our boy Mark Rusolonic. Todd Hollinsworth, Hideo Nomo, the list goes on. Spell Raul, Groot's Ra- in, the com- in the comments without looking. Let's see if you can get the closest. No, Spar- no cheating Spell on baseball reference. Mark Gridzalonic. I'd be stroking. I remember that trade, Expos. <laughs> I'd be stro- stroking in the stream, says poor Jerry. Ooh, we got a Juice Narrows. Andy LaRoche. Yeah, Andy LaRoche was pretty bad. That era, though. Think about it. Andy LaRoche. Bust. Edwin um, Jackson. Edwin Jackson, he had a career. He was yeah. fine. He did not put up enough time with L.A. to do much De- of anything. Debuted on his birthday? I think, yes. Yeah. 20th birthday. I remember Vince Scully uh, being yes. very excited about that. Randy how about, how about, how about Joel Guzman? Joel, Joel Guzman. Guzman. You know, there's yeah, a great... That one really hurt me. But that's yeah. the early 2000s. Now we're in the golden age, and we had one guy that oh. took a couple of years to figure it out. There's a great video Someone's on the Dodgers right. Nation YouTube channel nice. with the four biggest prospect busts of all time. Oh. And you should check it out. Um, Shameless plug. <laughs> Is that starring in Eric Ulo? It might be. I know the guy. I know the actor pretty well. 